It's good to have you with us, folks, for another edition of Friday Night Smackdown. I'm TJ Bradley, and it is all going off tonight. Here comes Miss Rail Ripley. She will challenge for the hardcore title here, and she has been on a rampage of late. Billy Kay, the hardcore champion, is going to have her work cut out here if she wants to leave Friday Night Smackdown with the gold. Right, At the Royal Rumble this past weekend, Rhea Ripley went one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon in a no disqualifications match. It was a brutal one, and it ended with Liv Morgan being thrown from a platform that must have been 25, maybe even 30 feet in the air. And she is currently hospitalized with a whole number of injuries. But Rhea here shows absolutely no compassion. We have not seen an apology. We have not seen her try to make it right in any way. Frankly, it is just the last in a long line of despicable acts that Rhea Ripley has committed here in this LCW universe. And Billy Kay, all I can say is watch your back tonight. This is about much more than the title belt. Rhea has maimed women, and that is not hyperbole. And Rhea whipping Billy into the corner. Remember, hardcore rules mean anything goes here. There are no disqualifications, no countouts. It is absolutely, as it says on the team, hardcore action. Rhea stomping a hole in Billy Kay and loves it. Leg drop as well. And folks, we will hope to get an update from Liv Morgan at some point on her condition and when we can expect to see her back. But it will be some time, I've got to say, before we will see her in the ring again. It was a heinous act by Leia Ripley and Liv. God almighty has got some serious rehabilitation to do over these coming months. Billy lifting Rhea up by the hair. And I'd love to see Billy do a number on Rhea here. Although Rhea walked out of the Royal Rumble in the ascendancy, she did take a lot of damage during that no disqualifications match. And I'm not sure she's fully fit here. If Billy can take advantage of that, she may well be able to retain her title. Good kick to the back there and hooks a leg. The longer this match goes, the greater idea we will have of exactly how fit Rhea Ripley is. Billy heading to the outside but thinks better of it. Rhea with good shots to the midsection, then elbow to the face. Now whips Billy over the top rope. But Billy comes back, good forearm smash there. Oh, what a clubbing shot to the back by Rhea. And now she goes for cover. Billy kicks out though at the count of two. Oh, another big clubbing shot from Rhea, and again, and again. Oh boy, she is a wild animal, and she loves hurting people. And boy, oh boy, Billy Kay, you need to get yourself going here. Good shot back at Rhea Ripley. And an elbow there, Billy is not standing on ceremony. Kick both in the air, and big shots coming back. She loves to tear up this one. Now lifts Billy up to her shoulders and slams her to the mat. And now Rhea heading outside of the ring. And she's looking for something under the ring. What is she going for? Oh, it's a sledgehammer. And what is worse than being in there with Rhea Ripley? Well, being in there with Rhea Ripley, who has a sledgehammer in hand. But thankfully, Billy has managed to avoid calamity there. And in fact, has hit back with a few good shots of her own. And now she's heading out of the ring. And what will she look for? It's a kendo stick. And she's coming for Rhea. Big shot there, and now Ray coming back. And the challenger going for a pump kind of caravan, that's well done. And is she going to go for a cover here? She certainly is, she hooks a leg. And Billy kicks out, it's just a two count. Ray thought she might have been the hardcore champion for the second time here in the LCW universe. Remember, she did beat Abaddon early on in this LCW universe to claim the hardcore title. But she held it for another days 
before the leader of Satan's Trident took it back from her. Speaking of Abaddon, we will see her next against Shotzi Blackheart. And our main event tonight is a big one. We saw her on Monday Night Raw, Charlotte Flair calling out Shayna Baszler, who was responsible for injuring her, for putting her on the shelf for these past six months or so. And that is going to be our main event. The Queen has revenge on her mind, and Rhea here has gold on hers. She is just beating the hell out of Billy Kay. Throws her into the corner there. And now a camel clutch. Is Billy going to give this one in? She has done so well as the hardcore champion. You got to think she will fight with every last fiber of her being to not give that belt up. And she does manage to work her way out of this. Takes Rare over. Now with Rare by the hair, but no, Rare coming back with elbows. That sledgehammer there on the mat. If either of these women can grab hold of that and use it on their opponent, this one will surely be done. Oh, a good drop kick from Rare. And as I say that, here comes Rare, but Billy rolls out of the way. And she grabs the sledgehammer. Oh, boy! And drives it into the heart of Rhea Ripley. And this one may well be over. But Rhea kicks out. Oh, big kick though from Billy. After that sledgehammer shot, she is really in control here. But she wants more. What is she going for now? Oh, it's a steel chair this time. And she uses it on the head of Rhea Ripley. And Billy Kay may not look it, but right now in this SCW universe, she is the queen of hardcore. A big boot to the face of Rhea as well. And this one may well be done. And it is Billy Kay. What a defense of her hardcore title. She remains champion. She has done for Rhea Ripley who admittedly may not have been match fit after the Royal Rumble on that tear-up she had with Stephanie McMahon. But she is still a hell of an athlete, and Billy Kay here has got a clean victory over her. What a coup for our WWE hardcore champion. Fantastic stuff here from the iconic star, and Rhea getting a taste of her own medicine for once. Oh, and Rhea, oh, what a bad loser with a steel chair, and she cleans Billy out. Rhea Ripley is a cancer in this LCW universe, and I can't wait until someone excises her. Backstage, we have Becky Lynch, who lost to Natalya at the Royal Rumble at the weekend. The man seems to be suggesting that she was not beaten at the Royal Rumble, that she never tapped out, that this was a screw job, and she is pointing the finger firmly at Stephanie McMahon. Hey, look at this. Beth Phoenix and the Queen Charlotte Flair coming face to face for the first time in this LCW universe.
You talk about alpha females. You have got two prime examples here. We will have to keep an eye on both Beth and Charlotte and see how this rivalry, perhaps this friendship, develops over the coming weeks. Right now we have Shotzi and Io Sky making their way to the ring. This is going to be a singles match. Shotzi is going to take on that devilish Abaddon. Io is here to show her support though, and she is full of energy. These two did lose to the Generation X at the Rumble. The Delgons only some being for the air are pair champions left for the belts. But it has not put a dampener on these two. Sky High as they are now are a fantastic tag team. We're enjoying having them here. And here comes Abaddon and Ember. And I wish I could say the same about them. They are a long way down my list of favorite people here in this LCW universe, and I am certainly not the only one who feels that way. Ember, it's an interesting choice by Hamadon to have Ember accompany her to the ring. We know that she has not been impressed with Ember's form lately. She feels, as was relayed to Ember by Shayna Baszler last Monday night, that Ember has let her standards slip. And with Shayna Baszler in the main event against Charlotte Flair, Ember is clearly the only pick that Abaddon had, but she may well just want to keep her close so that she can keep an eye on her, so that she can prove her wealth to the Satan's tried and true. Good move there from Abaddon. And this Abaddon, we haven't seen her in action as often recently. She has been the puppet master pulling the strings behind Emperor Moon and Shayna Baszler. But clearly she has not been sufficiently impressed with her charges. She is back in the rain and looking to have an impact herself. Remember Ember had an opportunity to be number 30 in the Royal Rumble. But she lost to Naomi. And Naomi who did get that 30 spot was not able to convert. But you'd have to say she still had a better Rumble than Ember. Ember was in there for less than 60 seconds. She was in and out in the blink of an eye. Clearly, Abaddon was not pleased with that at all. Everything that Shayna and Ember does reflects on the leader of Satan's Trident. And Ember may be feeling the pressure here. Remember, she attacked Naomi on Monday Night Raw, I'm sure, to demonstrate to Abaddon that she is made of the right stuff. Big clothesline there by Abaddon, and she's going for cover. Shotzi kicks out, though. And I'm sure that Shotzi is glad to see Eo out here with her. When you face Satan's Trident, you need to come prepared for absolute war. Good backbreaker by Abaddon, and now stretching out Shotzi, and throws her to the mat. Look at Abaddon posing it up. She is a powerful athlete, despite her limited stature. More than anything, though, she is just the unstoppable force. She just keeps coming forward. It does not matter what you put on her. Nothing seems to slow this woman down. And that is a good elbow from Shotzi from the top rope. Not going for a cutter though. She's clearly got Abaddon scouted. Here comes Abaddon. Showing her power. Lifting Shotzi up. And that one hurt. Abaddon going for the cover. Deontay reaches two and no more. It's a kick out from Shotzi. Abaddon now looking for that big power ball and she hits it. And this one must be done. Abaddon howling to herself. And she's going to shoot for a Boston crab. Another cover here. She turns Shotzi over. And surely now the green haired superstar is going to have to give this up. Abaddon really sitting down on that Boston crab. Ember is talking to Shotzi, and now Abaddon decides to let that one go. The crowd are into this, but Abaddon is really looking strong here. A good splash there on Shotzi in the corner. 
And now whips her out onto the apron. Big shot to the face. And Ember trying to get involved as well. But Abaddon has this one covered. She's going for a belly to back suplex. Onto the ring apron. Ouch. And now Ember throwing in a kick. And stomping. The left. Out of Shotzi along with Abaddon. But you just cannot do that. And surely the referee here is going to step in. He most certainly does. He's caught it. This is a disqualification victory for Shotzi. And Abaddon looks absolutely furious. Ember is not doing anything to ingratiate herself here. But backstage we got Naomi and Trish squaring up. It is non-stop here tonight. <laughs> Naomi does not seem impressed with Trish here. These two met on Monday Night Raw. And after the match, Naomi was attacked by Ember Moon. Clearly she feels Trish Stratus should have got involved. But Trish minded her own business. That uh, don't seem to be washing though with Naomi. You will have to keep an eye on this one, folks. These two are not on good terms. But frankly, I think that is misdirected anger from Naomi. We are about to see some very well-directed anger out here, though. Charlotte Flair, the Queen, is back in the LCW Universe. The winner of the Royal Rumble 2023. Making her way to the ring, she will face Shayna Baszler here in a one-on-one -on -one match. And Charlotte has one thing on her mind. Revenge. Shayna Baszler viciously attacked Charlotte at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in 2022 when Charlotte was facing up against Abaddon. And because of that attack, which cracked several of Charlotte's ribs, which fractured her skull, we have not seen the Queen since Money in the Bank, which has been a huge loss to us. And tonight, she will get her revenge. Hang on a minute. This is Stacy Keebler. What is she doing here? Where is Shayna Baszler? What is going on? Stacey Keebler, who arrived at the Royal Rumble. This is only her first week in the LCW Universe. What has this got to do with anything? Oh, and I'm hearing in my ear that Satan's Trident are making their way out of the building. That Shayna Baszler is leaving. It doesn't sound like she wants any part of Charlotte Flair. And I can't blame her. But Stacey Keebler, by the look of it, has been sent in as a replacement by China, who books the matches here on SmackDown. And this will not please Charlotte Flair at all. Stacy Keebler could well be a lamb to the slaughter here. This is not her fight. And look at Charlotte, she is fuming. And I am sure we are gonna hear more about this. Here we go though, Stacy coming in with good shots. The Queen all coming back. It'll be interesting to see how good Stacy is here. We know she has not been in the ring for some time, and she went okay at the Rumble. In fact, she won a match on Monday Night Raw. But facing the Queen, facing the best there is in this business, is a whole different game. She's working over there on the floor, stretching out her arm. The Queen will have a huge amount of pent-up anger that was to be directed at Shayna Baszler. And I wouldn't want to be Stacy in this one. Big shots coming in from the Queen and kicks. Oh boy, she really meant that. Takes Stacy to the mat. And this match may not run long the way it's going. Charlotte on the top turn bucket, telling Stacy to get to her feet. And now, oh my god, a front hook and run away. Athleticism from the Queen. She is showing absolutely no ill effects from those injuries. She is back and looking better than ever. And frankly, I am delighted because she is going to WrestleMania to face the WWE Champion. I am convinced we have someone who can seriously challenge China and not just challenge her but beat her, take the belt from her and return it to someone more deserving. Charlotte there kicking out of that cover. Ties it up. And now takes Stacy to the floor and works on that leg. Remember the figure eight lay lock. 
is Charlotte's specialty submission maneuver. And she will be looking for that tonight, I am sure. She will want to snap those long, luscious legs of Stacey Keebler. Oh, rope break there, breaks the cover. Now Charlotte dragging Stacy into the center of the ring. It could well be figure eight time already. And that's what Charlotte's going for here. She has the figure four locked in. Can she bridge it into a figure eight? Here she goes. Look at this. And look at Stacy screaming. This is a tremendous submission maneuver. And Stacy's leg here may well be snapped if she doesn't tap. Charlotte is giving it everything she's got. She is not here for a long time tonight. She is here to claim her victory. And I'm sure go home and plan what she does next when it comes to Shayna Baszler. And that's exactly where we're at right now. Stacy has been beaten by Charlotte Flair. And you cannot blame her. She was a last minute replacement for Shayna Baszler. Who has cowardly left the building while Charlotte Flair was making her entrance. And with all the hype. With all the adrenaline that must have been running through Charlotte's body, it is hardly surprising that she has run right through Stacy here. The Queen is back, but she has not got satisfaction yet. Shayna Baszler, Charlotte Flair is coming for you, and I would be very afraid if I were you. 